In this video I'm sharing how I'm sewing a skirt for an American girl, a Welly Wisher doll, and this is a free pattern that you can get in the Semi Dolls group on Facebook. Hi! Thanks for stopping by, this is Teresa from Semi Dolls. This pattern and all my other patterns are available in my online shop. The link is down below in the video description. And now, let's get started! So this pattern you can get in the semi Facebook group for free, you just have to request to join and I'm going to put the link for the Facebook group down below in the video description. For, th for the hem option number one, we are going to finish the raw edge of the skirt bottom with a serger or overlocker stitch. You can do that on your serger or overlocker or on a regular sewing machine. Fold over the skirt bottom and pin it in place. Sew the folded over hem in place. For the hem option number two, fold over the skirt bottom twice as narrow as possible. Pin the hem in place. Sew the folded over hem in place. For the hem option number three, you can also finish the bottom raw edge of the skirt with a piece of bias tape. Open up the bias tape and sew it to the edge of the skirt in the crease of the bias tape.
fold the bias tape over to the left side of the fabric and pin it in place. On the right side of the fabric sew along the bottom of the skirt edge very close to the bias tape, but not on it. Now that we had a look at three different hem options, we'll fold over the top edge of the skirt twice along the fold lines as indicated on the pattern pieces. and pin it in place. This will be the casing for the elastic. Sew along the folded over edge as close to the bottom edge of the fold as possible, so that the casing will be as wide as possible. Measure and cut the elastic. I'm cutting 6 inches for the Welly Wisher skirt and 10 inches for the American Girl Doll skirt. Pull the elastic through the casing. I'm using a botkin but you can also use a safety pin. and tack it in place at the edges so it does not slip inside the casing. That would be really annoying to have to pull it out and fiddle it out of that again.
Now that the top edge of the skirt is gathered, we can close the side edges of the skirt. Or the side seams. Now we're done. That's one pretty skirt finished. And I hope you enjoyed this little pattern. It's a really easy and simple thing to do, especially as a sewing beginner. And it's so satisfying because it's such a quick project as well. So you can make many, many skirts at once or just make one skirt and you don't have to spend your whole day working on it. And I think they look so pretty in this skirt, in their skirts. And here is the skirt option with the bias tape at the bottom edge. Looks really sweet as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little pattern and I hope I see you in the next video again. Bye! And I'm apologizing for my terrible voice today. But I hope I will be back to my normal self soon. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests and if you like head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time, bye!